Hello, it's Deadpool time. No, I'm joking. It's who time. Way. Guess what's just arrived in the post? Series seven still book. Let's take a little look. Okie dokie, let's get in. And here it is. Wow, right. We'll take it out of the sleeve first. We'll come back to the sleeve and the extras later. And just focus on the artwork for now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So obviously on the front here, we've got Series 7A. I never bought Series 7A or 7B or the entire DVD box set. This is my first copy of Series 7 that I've got. So I'm very happy to have saved some money there. <laughs> so look, looking at the front here, we've got Series 7A being represented. We've obviously got the companions. We've got Rory and Amy. We've got the Doc, Eleven Doctor. We've got the Oswin Oswald crazy Dalek down here. We've got a Triceratops from Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. No representation of the Gunslinger by the looks of it. Really loved the Gunslinger. It would have been nice to have him on here, but you know, he can't have everything. That's from uh, a town called Mercy, of course. And then we've got the Power of Three represented by the Black Cubes down here at the base. Then obviously the Angels take Manhattan. We've got the Angels Statue of Liberty. Weeping Angel there. And obviously the New York scenery in the background. Beautiful. Looking around the back. Oh, here we go. We've now got Series 7B being represented. So we've obviously got the Eleventh Doctor in his nice purple frock coat. We've got the Snowman being represented here, the Great Intelligence with a Whisper Man, and then Victoria and Clara. We've also got Clara here in the front, as seen in Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. We've got the Leaf that belongs to Clara and represents her parents getting together. That's from the Rings of Akaten. Then we've got Skaldak. Grand Marshal Skaldak here from Cold War. The return of the Ice Warriors after many decades. Lovely. Then we've got Nightmare and Silver being represented here by the new, newly designed Cybermen. Wonderful. And then in the background, we've got the name of the Doctor being represented with Trenzalor and a massive TARDIS that acts as the Doctor's grave, as it were. Beautiful artwork. And this is the spine. We've got the Jodie Whittaker era logo. Series 7 BBC. Now let's have a little look inside. Ooh, here we go. Oh wow, we've got individual artwork for each of the discs. Well, I looked at it. This is great. So disc one here, it's got the Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe, the Sign of the Daleks, and Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. We've got a lovely bit of artwork with Rory and some Daleks surrounding him. The palm of the Daleks in the background there. Stunning. Then on disc two, let's get this out. Hey. Wow, we've got Amy with a the mouth of a weeping angel by the looks of it. Pretty scary. So then you've got the town called Mercy. Power of three, the angels take Manhattan on this disc, lovely. Disc three here has the, bruh, has the Nostra gang here. So we've got Madame Vastra, Jenny, and Strax. And this disc has the snowman, the bells of St. John, and the rings of Akaten on it. Great. And then behind those discs, we have this lovely artwork, promo image for Asylum of the Daleks. Wonderful stuff. And obviously you can see disc four here. Let's get it out quickly. That is wonderful, I love that. You've got Clara with Grand Marshal Skada, the Ice Warrior, towering over her. Lovely. And then on this disc we have Cold War, Hyde, Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. And the last disc, disc five here. Get it out. There we go, we've got Richard E. Grant playing the Great Intelligence with the Eleventh Doctor and his frock coat, purple frock coat there. Lovely. This has the Crimson Horror, Nightmare and Silver, and the name of the Doctor on it. And then behind all those discs, we have the lovely promo image for the Bells of St. John. The 11th Doctor and Clara driving down the, the shard, by the looks of it. <laughs> now this was in fact the promo image for the second half of Series 7. So it had loads of Easter eggs of what was to come. If you look in the shards, you can see the Ice Warrior and the Spoonhead there. Well, you can see the full image on the internet anyway. All right, and that's the artwork. Going back to the sleeve and the inserts, let's just look at this first. Well, we've got the nice representation of the original DVD box set artwork here. So on the back, tell you what's on each of the five discs. Come back to that in a mo. And then here, we've got a nice little pamphlet with some sort of Doctor Who experience, immersive theatre adventure thing here. Some advertising for some calendars, diaries and greeting cards. Some of the PlayStation VR stuff. I haven't played any of those yet, it'd be cool though. I've got a VR, so let's 
Tennessee. Ah, and then all this stuff about the time of Victorious that spans across many media. Books, CDs, DVDs, animations, all the rest of it. Exciting. Right, and then looking at the sleeve, got a smaller representation of the back of the steelbook on the back here. Tells you all the episodes are on it. 15 episodes, you've got the two Christmas specials, the one straight after series six, the one in between the series 7A and series 7B, and then the bonus features. Right, let's talk about the extras, shall we? I'll bring this back into the shot. So you're probably wondering, is it worth getting for some new extras? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> These are in fact all the same extras that are on the original DVD box set. They're just named differently. So it makes it a bit more confusing. So here it actually, it lists it all and says exclusive content. And that is actually a bit of a lie, in fact. <laughs> I had a little peek at the extras on all the Blu-rays before I filmed this actually. I found that they had a nice menu with a representation of the Doctor's grave from In the Name of the Doctor with the Doctor's time stream in the middle where the console used to be, that's very nice. Also I found it's got the Select Audio Navigation Now thing, which is nice. It's, <laughs> it's funny to see that that's now migrated from classic Doctor Who DVDs to new series. Really nostalgic in a way. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> When I got to disc 5 and looked at the special features on there, that is where I found what they called the exclusive content. Now, so it's got three times exclusive content here. And then looking at the menu, it just turns out it's four extras in the exclusive content. You have to go into the second part of the special features on the disc. And there it's got a few extra clips or scenes that were released on the YouTube channel at the time. And also where on the original DVD box set, you've got Inferarium, Clara Natalis, Rain Gods and She Said, He Said. Those are just little extra scenes, arguably prequel things that were released at the time. They're on the DVD box set, they're not exclusive. So that's a bit of a, a dupe there. Also, there's four in that section. Very odd. So you have got the original Blu ray or DVD box set. You're not missing out. Well, this is a beautiful still book. Before wrapping up, I'd just like to say thank you to Sophie Cowdery or Sophie Codry, not sure how you say your name, and for this beautiful artwork. She has previously done the Series 4 Steelbook, the Series 5 Steelbook, the Series 6 Steelbook, and now the Series 7 Steelbook. And I hope she does more. She really has got a wonderful knack for doing beautiful artwork. So big praise to her. So the question is, is it worth getting? Well, if you collected the previous Steelbooks, then obviously the answer is yes. You should get it. <laughs> There it is, yay! If you're looking for new extras and you're hoping there was something more to this release other than it's in a steelbook and it's got new artwork, then no, it's not necessarily worth replacing your existing DVD or Blu-ray box set. What you're paying for is a new, really sleek and slender release that can, you can slot onto your shelf. It's really for collectors. So if you're like me, you love the show to bits and didn't really fancy those clunky, childish DVD box sets, then this is perfect. Of course, if you've collected the previous steelbooks, we still have the same issue as we had before. So the first three releases had the old TV movie third Doctor era type logo for Doctor Who on the spine. And then from series four onwards, we've had the new current era 13th Doctor logo, which is a bit frustrating when you see it on the shelf. As mentioned in my previous steelbook unboxing video, I think it's the series five one. You can remedy this problem. If you go onto Etsy, I'll put a link in the description, of course. You can change the spines with stickers or magnets. You can either have all of these in this logo, the TV movie Third Doctor Era logo. So then you get stickers for all of these ones. Or you can do the reverse and just get stickers for series one, two and three and get it changed. So it has the 13th Doctor Era logo on them. Anyway, that's enough of that. In summary, it looks beautiful, it saves shelf space, and it's a lovely collector's item in of itself. Lovely, very pleased to get this. I have pre-ordered the 50th anniversary special steelbook as well, so I look forward to that. I think Lee Binding's doing the artwork on that one. The bloke who normally does the collector box sets for the classic series, so I look forward to that, and I'll do an unboxing and review of that when that comes out. Well, thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click on that bell for notifications of new content. Also go and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at WhoTimeUK. I've got Instagram as well. Similarly, that's Instagram.com 
forward slash Bhutan UK. Cheers guys and girls and I'll see you in the next video.